So I'd say that that depends on the sector that the idea is focused in, right? We like to look at companies who are trying to redefine technology in spaces which have inherently not had much change or innovation for the past 20, 30 years. And that's kind of the shift that's happening now. So anybody who's challenging the status quo probably has the best chance to succeed. So something like that. 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 Chance to succeed. Products that excite us are usually, uh, first, they have to really solve a problem that people face. And it has to be a large group of people because uh, as, as VCs, we're more focused on problems which can scale rapidly, right? So it, if you're targeting a product towards a niche segment, we're probably not going to be too interested, even if you have a better grasp on it, because we really want to solve the big problem, so to speak. Uh, depending on the stage the VCs operate in, the problems tend to grow bigger and bigger in scale, right? So if, if, you're, if you're looking at an investment at a later stage, you better be talking about like a 10 billion, 20 billion dollar market as opposed to when we come in, we, we would look at like a 500 million or 1 billion dollar market, right? So, so for us, anything that can scale to that level is exciting. Level is exciting. Level is exciting. Level is exciting. Level is very early stage venture capital fund. So we like to look at people who are going after these big, big problems which may not necessarily have a precedent, right? That, that's kind of what you're referring to. And we'd love to see more, and we're willing to take that risk if, if it's a solid team behind, uh, behind the idea, and if they know exactly what they're trying to solve or who they're trying to address, even if that technology or that product doesn't have a precedent. So we're very excited about those ideas, so we'd be very happy to participate.